Okay, so just going to give you a quick preview of the early stages of one of the personal projects I've been working on. This is TIA and it's based on the NLU engine, the natural language understanding engine um, that I've been building for a while. And this is built on a Windows 10 laptop which has an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti GPU. So it's an artificially intelligent deep learning neural network which powers the natural linguistics and it's also connected to the internet of things via the Techbubble IoT Jumpway which is our platform as a service for the internet of things. Um, it uses web sockets so that the application itself which is a Python application, a Flask, uh, Flask server, um, so that the application can have real-time updates from all the devices that are connected to the network and can also control them and the same with Tia um, and myself and Tia can control the house basically from anywhere in the world as long as it's got an in internet connection so the main devices well the only devices at the moment that I've built are the temperature and humidity sensor and um, the door sensor and the light which is over there so T has not been trained with a lot of uh, conversational knowledge at the moment but I'll just give you a quick demonstration so you can see it's quite quick voice recognition is now active connected to tech bubble IOT jumpway hi how are you Hi, I am good, thank you. How are you? I am good too, thanks. Very good. What can I do for you? Voice recognition is now disabled. So I have to uh, keep the voice recognition off when I'm speaking because the, the microphone on this laptop is really, really good and it picks me up from quite a way away. Um, so one of the other features of this is um, you can train it directly through the application. At the moment I've only got the basics in place, um, which is the train now button. So I click that. Training starting. And then open up, you'll be able to see that that's now started training. Training completed. So it's very quick, but it's only a small data set at the moment anyway. Um, I'll just show you some of the IoT features. For instance, the light that I showed you a second ago, you can see that the light is on. Turn that off. And in real time, that turns off. And let's turn it back on, and it's back on again. And that's actually that speed no matter where. Um, I had somebody that I was working with at one point that lived in Buenos Aires and um, when they turned the light on and off it, it was literally happening as soon as they were clicking the button and I'm in Spain. So it's, it's really quick on that side. Um, the other thing, like I said before, is real-time data. So the temperatures and, and all the sensors and things like that will update in real time. And based on rules, TOA or the application, uh, TIA, sorry, or the application can um, interact with the rest of the devices on the network autonomously, um, which sort of makes it uh, a really good example of uh, how a smart home works. Other features that are going to be added is I'm going to be integrating TAS so that uh, she can see at the moment, she can hear, she can speak, and she can communicate. Um, and soon she will be able to see and she'll be able to identify people that she sees. She, I'll use the main camera that's on the, uh, the laptop as her main eyes, but she'll be able to connect to any of the IP cameras that are connected to TAS. Um, and again, from anywhere in the world, and she'll be able to process those frames and see if she knows who they are or not. So she's a good burglar alarm while I'm away. Um, we're going to be demonstrating TAS at the Web Summit in Lisbon, uh, Portugal, in November. 
um, and I'll also be taking this laptop with me obviously so uh, I'll be able to demonstrate this if, uh, if you go into the event it'll be good to see you. So that's a quick demonstration and it's obviously very early stages at the moment. I've only literally built the, uh, this application today. Um, but I'll keep you up to date with some more videos and uh, there's loads more to come soon.